Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome back to part six of our 10 part special series on Irfan View. Now, today I'm going to conclude the section on altering your images with Irfan View. So I've got an image loaded. We'll click on image once again. We left off after decreased color depth. So one thing you can do to alter your images is convert them to grayscale. You can see there everything goes gray. As always, if you don't like it, you can just click on Do. Another thing you can do is make a negative. So you have a negative image. We'll undo that. You can enhance the colors by moving. See, I put in a little bit more red in the background there. Do that, it makes it a little bit more pale. So you can get lots of different effects by fooling with the gamma correction, the saturation, to alter your photos. Now a histogram shows you all these different aspects of luminosity, red, blue, and green. You can auto adjust the colors in which the program goes through and adjusts the colors as it thinks they should be adjusted. Another thing you can do, and this is often needed with images that you've resized, is to sharpen them. If you're taking pictures, especially if people with blue eyes, you have red eye reduction. We've gone through the section on effects. You can swap colors, and this is kind of fun, because you're, you're basically swapping, you know, red, green, and blue for red, blue, and green, red, green, and blue for blue, blue green, and red. You get some pretty neat, neat effects that way. And again, if you don't like it, you can always undo it. And then you can import a new palette. So, Irfan View, in short, gives you all kinds of ways to alter your photos by altering the colors, altering the palette, removing red eye, flipping, rotating, fine and custom rotating, and lots more. And that's all there is to it.